Hello guys, how is everybody doing? Welcome to Cuckoo House. Now this is going to be a very short in and out video, 5 packs only. And I'm gonna ramble after packs a little bit. But anyways, 5 packs, I put the list on the screen. We're gonna continue the same list uh, in upcoming days. But all I have currently is 5 packs. And the first one there is Lopad 12 LOP. Come on, let's catch one of those future star cards now if anybody is gonna pack me 400 plus k card i'm gonna give you the renato sanchez if that's 400k i i should have tell like straight in the beginning uh that's that's that that game very unexpected first pack in what is he worth now what I wanted to say is I enjoyed the fact of giveaway because I want to see who is gonna catch uh, that team of the year was pretty pretty hard thing the bull so now I'm trying to figure out the new requirements for the Renato Sanchez and I thought uh, packing any of those is way too easy right so I thought I'm gonna put the price range of any card that is tradable for 400,000 or something that'd be uh, like a decent tough pull and now before I could even say it we get the first special one but I don't think Grimaldo is uh, 400k is it? hang on Grimaldo yeah he's only 110 that's what I mean I, I think it, for that giveaway because i'm not making any money out of the channel uh so the giveaway stuff it, it has to be a tough tough pull so but how i mean come on low put with the first pack let's go but keep in mind any any pull over 400k or like 10 10 10 20k under that's fine but 400,000 coins i'm looking for uh, either special, regular, whatever card, whoever gets me that first is gonna get that Renato Sanchez. Yo, that, that was so unexpected. So, Superstar Karaoke, next pack there. Damn, I wasn't ready for that at all. But that's when these cards are gonna strike you. So, it's just a regular board. It is uh, Fernandez, Bruno Fernandez from a 50k pack. So finally I spec back the special card as well. That's good. Next one there, Lorbic. And the thing with the giveaway, because when they are untradable packs, I mean though player could be like four hundred thousand coins and if I'm not using it it it'd be uh, a bit of a you know it's it's not worth anything to me so i wouldn't enjoy the pull as much but though i mean if somebody's 400k they must be uh usable anyway guys let me know how would be uh how would i do it that it would be tough enough uh pull but at the same time that it would be possible that that's what i'm trying to figure out uh, how to do the requirements especially between the untradables and tradables uh, extreme fifa loyal cheese i'm um, talking more than opening packs let's go it was meant to be quickie pack quickie it's not a, even a board so the next up next up maybe with the last pack peppy duper pop -pa flow let's go peppy duper flow no, it's not a walkout. So anyways, uh, I, I opened yesterday like 20 packs. I messed up big time with the promo. I prepared loads of pad packs because uh, the way FIFA has been previously, most of these guys in Future Stars, they are either silvers or uh, gold non-rares or whatever. So I figured, you know, the best chances are packing them from those actually i thought the only chance uh, you have to pack is their like base card but apparently and then they released a lighting round of 50k packs and i i was so freaking confused so i opened ton of pad packs which i got from completing uh tom Frey's league spc because I, i'm a huge dutch fan and when i seen that beast of a card i knew i'm gonna have to have to do it uh, no matter what 
uh, though uh, there is no loan card on him to try out I paid 250,000 coins because I didn't realize in the marquee matchups where two squads from the Dutch league anyways I messed up constantly and also I put my coins into the squad I bought Planck and, uh, and Team of the Air Van Dijk just before that promo and it crashed market completely so guys let me know what do you think about that promo uh, as good as it seems I think it's way too OP there's too many cars too soon after Team of the Air that look like Team of the Season cards so though people are complaining they want more new content than this I don't really like the concept of bringing that big of a cards right after team with the air out i mean some people like myself i lost loads of coins uh, because of that promo but and now you have uh, those spcs like the gomez or whatever and so many damn options that it's ridiculous so the, the icons and the team of years they're not so far ahead like they're meant to be in previous fifas till team of the season they were like by far the best cards now they still are but I mean, there's so many other options that are nearly as good, but uh, so much cheaper. It's like too big of a, too soon of a promo, is that what I'm saying? But anyways, I don't know what you guys think about that. And I'll see you soon again. Adios, amigos. Muchachos, gracias. Always looking to strike a goal. So damn it, hit the like and subscribe for show. It's the cuckoo. We the pack addicts and we back at it It's the cuckoo house Verified FIFA patients get loud